Well, that game was something. Guys, I don't even know what to say anymore in these these post-game reviews. It's just it's just brutal. The Leafs lost 6-1 to the Pittsburgh Penguins in the night where Casimir Kaskisuo made his NHL debut in the crease for the Toronto Maple Leafs. The team left him high and out to dry. The Pittsburgh Penguins had 38 shots on goal tonight. And you know what? To be honest with you, there was only maybe one goal for sure that I thought he could have had. If you want to be fair, I would think only two of those goals that Pittsburgh scored were really on Kaskisuo. The other four were on defensive lapses by the Leafs. You know, two-on-ones. You know, Muzzin hitting somebody right into him. You can't blame him tonight. Kaskisuo was still really good. Made 32 saves. Uh, just, I don't know, uh, guys, it's just, how, how do you, how do you watch this game and think this team can turn it around fast? Because what I'm watching right now is just a travesty. The, the Leafs, and I'll say it, and I'll say it time and time again, the Leafs have given up on their coach. I don't think that they're playing for Babcock anymore. And I think Babcock has lost his players in the sense that, Babcock isn't coaching the way that he should be right now. He's not adapting with the times. Uh, and, I mean, I'm not blaming everything on Babcock. I think people have it confused when I say that they need to make a switch here. But when a, when a team may, or when, when a coach loses his teammates, he loses his team in the dressing room, it's, you're starting to smell the end of something here. And the Leafs are definitely not in a good position right now, and Babcock is not helping it whatsoever. You know, the tactics that he's used so far to start this year haven't helped. The defensive pairings are not very good. We, we already heard in the intermission today, uh, in the second intermission, as, of course, my mini fridge turns on. Add insult to injury. Now the audio is going to be crap in the background. But uh, we heard in the intermission in Saturday's headlines that Tyson Berry and the Leafs are realizing that this isn't working when Tyson Berry is an offensively gifted defenseman. He's basically the right-handed shot version of Riley. And Babcock wants him to re reinvent himself and turn himself into a defensive defenseman. This isn't working. We've seen the giveaways from him tonight. He's, he's in his own head. Uh... I mean, like like I said, you know, Kaskasuo stood on his head. The guys just left him out to dry. Nobody's back-checking. There was no real pressure tonight. The Leafs had 33 shots on goal, but a lot of those shots were just terrible. Uh, the And by that, I mean they were just floated on net. There wasn't any real big scoring chances except for maybe five or six of those shots I thought were dangerous threats. And, of course, one of them ended up going in the net, Jason Spezza. I don't even want to go through all these statistics because you all watched the game. You already know what happened. The Leafs got outplayed severely. Shorthanded goals, power play goals, you name it. There was It was everything in this game. The Leafs just sucked. They gave up way too many shots. They left poor Kaskasu out to dry. The Leafs have, have lost it. They've just absolutely lost it. Five losses in a row. You know, a, f a five or six game win streak puts you right back into things here. But the way that they're playing, they have injuries, of course. But I'm not just going to blame everything on injuries. You lose Kerfoot, you lose, Mar lose Marner, of course. That's a big one. Trevor Moore's not playing right now. Those are three pretty decent pieces in your lineup. And you can argue Marner, obviously. A lot of people would argue is the best player on the team. I would say Matthews. But again, it doesn't matter. They're both on the same team and you're losing one of the biggest players. But with, you know, with the amount of talent that the Leafs have, this should not be that much of a problem. And it is. They're just not playing a complete game. They're losing, you know, every sort of battle you could think of. Special teams, five on five. I, I don't even know what to say anymore, guys. I'm going to be posting a video about Tyson Berry uh, pretty much right after this. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll go up like an hour after this or 20 minutes after this. I'm going to try to get up as fast as possible because I don't even want to talk about the Leafs anymore uh, like tonight. And, you know, they don't play tomorrow because they played a back-to-back. -back. Thank God we get a break from this crap. So uh, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. It's not always, you know, terrible here in Leafland, but... Uh, I make videos on all NHL teams just recently. It's been a little bit, a lot, well, a lot of Leafs content because uh, stuff around the NHL hasn't intrigued me to make a, make a video on it. And I don't want to just put out a video that's, you know, crap and, and give you guys nothing. So there will be more stuff coming of all NHL teams, but right now I'm focused on this absolute travesty and, and trying to figure out what's going on. So I also have a new podcast called the present day Leafs podcast with myself and downtown Stephen Brown. You guys can see the link in my last video. So make sure to go and check that out. I'll have it probably in the description box at some point soon. I just don't have it there right now. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, probably about Tyson Berry. Peace.